In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a space so that groups of students within your course can collaborate with one another. So once you log into Sakai and go to your course site, choose Forums. And the first thing you're going to do is create a new forum. In this example, I have three groups. And those groups members are going to be working together on a project. So I'll just call the forum title Group Project 1. And I'll give it a short description. Space for your group to collaborate. Essentially, there are three groups, roughly seven students in each group. And this is the most important part. When you scroll down to permissions, by default, all of the students in your participation list are contributors, but you don't want that. So you're going to choose student and set the permission level to none. And if this is something you're going to assess, you can select an entry in your gradebook and then save the settings. So after you create your form, you're going to save the settings and add a topic. So this topic title essentially is just going to be group one. It's going to be a place where only the members in group one can collaborate with one another. So remember we already set the permission level for students to none. So right now none of the students can actually interact and collaborate but since this is a topic for group one we're going to choose that role give them the contributor permission level. So now they can create new responses and respond to one another, uh, read each other's posts, and if you want you can allow them to edit their own posts or each other's. And we're going to save the settings and add another topic. Topic title, group two. So now I just need to create a space for the members in group two to collaborate. Same thing, I'm going to scroll down to permissions, None of the students have access. I'm going to choose group two and give them the contributor permission level. You can customize the settings a little bit if you want. Save the settings. And we're going to add our final topic, which essentially is going to be group three. Same thing. This new topic, by default, none of the students are actually allowed or have the permission level to contribute but we want to change that so that only group three can actually collaborate with one another. So I'll choose group three, give them the contributor permission level. You can customize your settings if you wish, and then we'll save it. And there you have it. We created a forum for this group project and three topics, essentially one topic for each group. And so only the members in group three have access to that topic and can actually create their own uh, threads and respond to each other. Now keep in mind, you can be more creative in how you set up your forums and topics, but what I wanted to really demonstrate was how to manage permissions so that only specific groups have access to a topic and can collaborate with one another.